in the next days everything will be clear, but Badia Shine is the new priority for Chelsea as new left footed center back. So negotiations ongoing, important to mention that the first call was by The Athletic and we can confirm that Chelsea are now actively working on this one. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel, Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market and today guys I want to touch on new updates for Chelsea but also on two important players like Joe Felix, Declan Rice and so let's jump into it together. And guys, let's start with Chelsea. They are really busy on the market. We know how Chelsea are moving for the future. Andre Santos joining from Vasco da Gama. David Datrofofana joining from Molde. I told you that here we go and all the details for these two young players. Fofana is born in 2002. Andre Santos in 2004. So Chelsea are planning for the future, but also for the present. And in the present plans, there is also the priority to go for a new centre-back. And we know that they are working for Josko Gvardiol in 2023, but at the moment it's not easy at all because Red Bull Leipzig want more than 90 million euros. Man City and Real Madrid are also interested in Josko Gvardiol. Also, he's not sure at all that Gvardiol will move in January. There is a chance that this, this deal will happen to any club in the summer. So this is why at the moment it's not an easy negotiation. And Chelsea have now made an official bid for Badia Child, centre-back playing for Monaco. There is an official bid on the table. I'm told the total fee is around 35-40 million euros. The relationship between Chelsea and Monaco is very good, so there are discussions ongoing. I'm told it's an advanced negotiation at the moment. The player is keen on the move, so no problem on player side, but it's really important to understand the discussion uh, between Chelsea and uh, Monaco in the next days, how it will evolve, because Badia Schall is keen on the move. Chelsea have great relationship with Monaco, but now it's time to find a total agreement between clubs. The feeling is confident, is optimistic. Uh, Chelsea are convinced they can get Badia Schall deal done very soon. So in the next days, everything will be clear. But Badia Schall is the new priority for Chelsea as new left footed center back. So negotiations ongoing, important to mention that the first call was by The Athletic and we can confirm that Chelsea are now actively working on this one. Let's see what's gonna change for Guardiol in the next weeks if some club will decide to act for January or directly for next summer. But at the moment for Guardiol still nothing imminent happening. For Joao Felix, we know that uh, Atletico Madrid uh, are still waiting to complete any negotiation with any club. We had rumors about Paris Saint-Germain a few weeks ago, but I can confirm that Paris Saint-Germain are not negotiating to sign Joao Felix, but also in this moment Paris Saint-Germain are really quiet on the market. They are focused on contract extensions, Leo Messi and not only. And then in the summer they will go for new signings. Also Mila Skriniar from Inter, who's a free agent, remains a priority for Paris Saint-Germain. Joao Felix at the moment is not in their list for January. Then in the summer we will see. But for January there is no negotiation ongoing between PSG and Joao Felix. What does it mean that his agent Jorge Mendes is speaking to English clubs? So it's Arsenal, Manchester United, all these clubs had conversations with Jorge Mendes. Let's see who will decide to pick also to Atletico Madrid to make a proposal. We wait to see what's next for Joe Felix, but Premier League is the most likely destination for the Portuguese player waiting to understand what kind of conditions Atletico Madrid will accept for the Portuguese star. They always ask him for more than 100 million euros for Joe Felix, but I told you that many clubs were waiting for Atleti to change the conditions of the deal. So let's see what's next, but Premier League seems to be the most concrete possibility for uh, the Portuguese star. And then Declan Rice, David Moyes, uh, West Ham manager, said in the last press conference that they will fight to keep the player. He confirmed that he wants to win, he wants to have important opportunities, but West Ham will do their best to keep Declan Rice, to give him an opportunity to stay at the club. The reality is that, I told you last April, Declan Rice has no intention to sign a new contract with West Ham. At the moment, there is a feeling around the player and around the club that in the summer, probably difficult in January, but in the summer there is a chance for Declan Rice to make a very big move to a top, uh, probably English club. So Declan Rice will be one to watch. At the moment it's too early to say where he will end up because many clubs are interested. We know since long time that May United, Chelsea, Man City, many clubs have always been tracking Declan Rice, but it's still a long way to go. West Ham will fight as always to keep the player, but Declan Rice in 2023 will be one to watch. And so guys, let me know your thoughts about Chelsea, about uh, Badia Schall, about Declan Rice also, Joao Felix, where do you think he's gonna end up? I wait for your opinion, guys, here in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and see you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao!